is Al Mendoza. And I'd like to give a shout out to all my fans out there, all three of you. I'm in Huntington Beach, maybe the outskirts of Westminster. I'm at Bellaterra Shopping Center and I'm at King Seafood Restaurant. Um, they've already brought me my cup of clam chowder. That looks beautiful. It's just a cup because I'm having dinner here and over here is the greatest sourdough bread they serve in any restaurant. It's warm, the butter, you dip it into the clam chowder, and then your day has started. <laughs> I ordered um, the South African lobster tails. So as soon as those get here, I'll be back and give you all the delicious details. All right, see you soon. Well, I'm back. Well, I'm back <laughs> for the second time. And I just had to show you, look at the size of the clams in here, man. That's excellent. When you get clam chowder, that's what you want, man. We got this beautifully buttered sourdough bread. Look at the butter just melting off of that. Man, you dip that in there. Spectacular. Mmm. Mm. And follow it up with that big clam. Their clam chowder is so good here. It's so creamy. It holds up. It doesn't break down after sitting for a little while. Like some clam chowders get real watery. The potatoes still have a little bit of bite to them. You know, they're not mushy. I love clam chowder. And then really tell you the truth, I'm not sure if I'm a Manhattan type of guy or or New England. Even though most restaurants only have New England. But I'll tell you, this is this is the spot. Nice and warm. Seasoned just right, just a little bit of crushed pepper on it. So far we're off to a good start. All right, I'll be back when the main course gets here. I'm back, and it is here, and it is beautiful. Take a look at this. This is two African, South African lobsters, baked potato, and uh, sauteed spinach. I mean, clarified butter, and I am ready to go. This, I hope it's as good as it looks, because it looks fantastic. Just the fact that you've got two lobster tails sitting there, side by side, like two little fat twins. I mean, that is beautiful. Look at the, the grill marks on it. Um, it looks like it's cooked perfect, but I'll be the judge of that. All right, I'm gonna uh, prepare this. I'm gonna put some lemon. I like, I like the way that they've uh, grilled the lemon also. It's, uh, it looks like a first rate meal to me. The, the baked potato looks beautiful. Um, there's nothing left to do but eat it. <laughs> and I'm the man for that. All right, um, I'll come back in uh, after I get uh, started on this. Thank you. All right, I've uh, I fixed up my potato. I cut up some of the lobster, and here is a nice big piece of lobster. We're going into the clarified melted butter, and the next it's going into me. What a fantastic taste. The lobster is still firm and it is so sweet. Something about these South African lobster tails, they're a lot different than the than a main lobster tail. 
or a Pacific lobster or an Australian lobster tail, they have a firmness and they're so sweet. I mean, way sweeter than than the aforementioned, aforementioned lobsters. But you know what? Something about having the grilled lemon is just an added feature. But this lobster, it's it's so different than all the other lobsters that I've had. And this seems to be the only restaurant uh, that serves this. And the fact that they give you two. Um, but this meal has to, uh, this meal really has to be good. It was like 60 bucks. Baked, baked potato is excellent. I mean, they put salt on the outside of the potato when they bake it. And the insides are so creamy. Um, the sour cream and the butter, just the right amount. But it's a pre it's a pretty big potato. Really excellent. Let's try the let's try the spinach. Spinach is really really good. It's got garlic. It's got garlic in it. Just the right amount of butter. It's, it's not over sloppy with butter, and it still has its um, its texture. When you it has a really good chew, and it's not overly wet like like spinach can be. But I'm telling you, I got to get back to the main. I gotta get back to the main star here. I mean, these are just niblets right here. I mean, you know what? It must be. It must be the way that it's grilled and the seasoning that they put on it. It's got a little bit of a bite, a little bit of a. Um, I want to say spiciness, but you know, spicy and seafood. Don't really go together unless you, you get like blackened. You know what? That's it. It's got kind of a little bit of a blackened kind of taste. You know when you get your uh, halibut blackened and they and it's seared really black on the outside because of all the, the seasoning that they that they grilled into the fish. This kind of has that taste, not nearly as severe, but just enough. Uh, you know what it is? It's the it's paprika. That's what it is. A lot of pap paprika on the top. But it was just cooked perfectly. Um, I gotta shut up and eat because I don't want this to get cold on me. All right, I'll be back with my conclusion in a bit. Bye bye. Whoo, man, that was a meal. That was superb. That was probably the best COVID meal that I've had in two years. Um, the lobster was spectacular. It was. Um, it was firm on the outside where it had been grilled, but not dry. And then when you got to the middle and the bottom part of the lobster, it was so moist, but still firm. And the sweetness that came out of that, I mean, the word succulent is a word that pops up in my head. That was a spectacular meal. <clears throat> and the thing that I did to that baked potato would probably be illegal in like 10, 10 to 15 states. I massacred it. It was it was one of the best baked potatoes I ever had. The spinach was superb. It wasn't wet. It was just wet enough, let's say. And uh, the acidity that you got from the garlic was perfect. There wasn't anything I could say bad. I mean, right down to the grilled piece of uh, half a lemon that they gave me to squeeze on the um, on the lobster. This was uh, this was a great meal, and I'm at King Seafood right here in I guess Huntington Beach at the Bellaterra um, Center, and I am a happy camper. I mean, there's nothing like a good meal to put you in a good mood. Um, 
to, to make you look forward to the rest of the day or evening. Um, that couldn't have been any better. So, so, so far we've done uh, Vietnamese food. We did pho, pho. We've done Mexican food. And now we've done seafood. So um, stick around and see where our adventures will lead us next. This is Al Mendoza with another episode of Full Contact Feasting. A satisfied Albert Mendoza. Thank you very much.